Hello, this is Watch All About with another watch review. In this review, we're looking at uh, a relatively new brand called Eticus. Uh, they launched uh, middle of last year, 2014, uh, and they specialise in golf watches. So as you can see at the moment, it's just a box, but I thought it was worth showing you the opening process uh, because uh, I really like what they've done with their boxes. You know, many brands tend to, new brands especially, can forget about uh, a good opening experience. But I thought this was a particularly enjoyable opening experience uh, to, uh, to share with you. So firstly, we have this. Uh, first outer box which you flap open at the front nice little message there and then you flap open the bottom we have a, a bit in here uh, which is a nice little golf etiquette book pocket reminder which is a nice little touch so within here we have another box so we slip it out of a slidey bit like so then we have our actual watch box there you go, and then we open it up, and there's the watch. So one thing, before we go on to the watch, one thing really, really cool is that they've added a little golf ball marker for when you're on the green. Uh, really uh, surprisingly well made, really thick steel, and it's, uh, it's pretty heavy as well. Uh, and obviously, as you can see, it matches the, the watch. Uh, so that's a really nice little uh, addition uh, to, the, to the box, which uh, really impressed me. Uh, so the whole opening process is, uh, is, uh, is a really good plus and a positive for, for the watch. So if I just move everything out of the way. There we go. Okay. So let's move on to the watch itself. So this then is their Sport Pro model. Uh, as you can see, it's a... Uh, definitely golf themed. This costs uh, uh, £279 on a rubber or a leather strap and this model here on the steel bracelet is £299 so that's uh, just under £300 obviously. It's not Swiss made but it does have a Swiss movement uh, but we'll discuss that a little bit later on uh, and the specs are, are really good. Uh, it's got a really thick sapphire crystal obviously a Swiss, uh, Swiss movement um, it's really heavy as well, weighs about 215 grams. Uh, the size is 45 millimeters in diameter, so straight away that's, that's actually golf related because that is in fact the size of a golf ball. Uh, lug to lug length is 53 and a half mil, uh, and the lug width is 24 mil. So this is my wrist, which is seven and a half inches, and as you can see, it is quite a uh, an impressive looking watch uh, because of the weight it feels really good on as well feels very high quality and because of the thick bracelet as well um, you know it really does demand a lot of wrist presence and it looks really uh, really chunky and sturdy in a, a well bit well built uh, timepiece uh, it's uh, got a water resistance of 100 meters so it's it's good enough for uh, swimming, simple swimming, but not really scuba diver or anything like that. But you'd have a diver's watch for that, not a, not a golfer's watch. So that more or less leads into the reason why Eticus was created, actually. Uh, Gary Butler, the founder, I had a, uh, the great privilege of uh, meeting up with him uh, quite recently. He was saying that many, uh, you can tell what a person is into by the, uh, the type of watch he wears, you know, if they're into diving uh, or aviation um, or other other things like that from from the bezel uh, but there was nothing like that for golf so he uh, decided to develop a, a bezel which would work uh, for golfers so this is called the linksometer as you can see there it says golf linksometer pace of play so what the the purpose of this bezel is that you set the time when you tee off and then you can keep a track of roughly you know approximately how uh, fast or slow you're playing. So let's uh, advance the time. So I'm teeing off here at seven minutes two. So theoretically, by 12 minutes, no, by seven minutes past, I should definitely be completing the first hole. Um, second hole should be completed really between 16 to 20 minutes past. Third hole, you know, around half past two uh, and so on and so forth. Um, 
So obviously it is, uh, it is uh, based on averages. Uh, some holes are longer than, than others. If you play golf, obviously you'll, you'll realise that. But it just keeps you uh, in mind of about this. This total is about four hours, which is well, well known as, as this around about the standard time it should take to, to play 18 holes. Uh, so, <clears throat> in in my eyes, I, I do play golf. I'm I'm not a particularly uh, a particularly good golfer, but I do enjoy to play uh, with uh, uh, with my friends. I'm a uh, a member of uh, our local golf club here in Rugby, Warwickshire. Uh, so to me, it definitely is uh, useful uh, and uh, uh, worthwhile having uh, on a on a on a watch. So uh, it is a, it is a handy feature to have uh, for for those who play golf. So that's obviously one of the main features of the uh, of the watch. Uh, another golf related feature I'm sure you'll notice is the the 3D dimple pattern on the dial which mimics a, a golf ball as uh, uh, as far as uh, I'm concerned is it is good from a naked eye but when you look at it under a, uh, a macro lens as we will do later on it it can seem that the the finishing of the the dimples can be a little bit edgy. But uh, from you know from normal, uh, from where you're viewing it viewing it normally, the uh, the dimples do look perfectly fine. So that's good. Um, one final little nod to uh, to golf is the flag second hand. Uh, that's a, a red flag pointing left, which is a, uh, uh, a an ode to the logo of a famous golf uh, tournament, the Masters, in fact. Uh, so that that flag can be found in, in the logo there. Okay, so um, let's uh, talk about the uh, the case in general. So uh, as I mentioned before, it's a really thick sapphire crystal on the top. It's got a very good layer anti-reflective coating actually. You can probably see it doing quite a good job against this window to my right. Um, keeps the, the dial very crystal clear um, and it has a nice gentle blue hue to it as well uh, so that's always good it, you can tell it's thick as well but when you tap it it gives you a good decent thud so that's reassuring to know and it gives the you know the quality of a high quality uh, gives a feel of a high quality watch um, the case is polished down the sides and brushed on the top and then it's also polished at the bottom as well and the case back is screwing and that's uh, completely brushed with some various details around the edge quite plain and simple uh, has their little message spirit of the game uh, a patent number which is for the for the bezel uh, UK patent number and a US patent number uh, so that's uh, you know that's relatively straightforward case back the the uh, etching is is reasonably deep so it's, uh, it looks uh, okay um, the crown is push pull, so two positions. Obviously, first one for date, second one for for time. Uh, and I do quite like the the shape of it actually, how it's uh, how it protrudes out, uh, and then it has this uh, this wider section here. Uh, I do like the design. It's uh, it's completely polished and unsigned on the end. I probably would have liked to have seen something something there, maybe the E or anything really um, but I believe Gary just wanted to keep it nice and nice and simple and straightforward which is fair enough so the um, the finishing on the case is absolutely spotless you know you, there's nothing uh, funny with it at all or anything that's uh, bad quality or the edges are perfectly machined and and the, the finishing are all, are all spot on as well so that's that's good uh, talking about the bezel actually lining up it's it's fairly good the action is is really nice as well. It sounds great uh, when you're clicking it, and it's very easy to use. Uh, so that's uh, it's got a good uh, bezel action to it. Uh, so the the dial then, obviously, I've already mentioned the uh, 3D uh, dimple pattern. Uh, we also have uh, a nice rehort around the the, the dial, which I, I always uh, enjoy, uh, uh, with the uh, the minute track uh, around it. Everything on the dial. Um, applied uh, is uh, polished so when the light hits it right as you can see there you get a nice reflection so that includes the um, hour markers the date window frame 
and these hands. Um, all of these little little bits and bobs are all very well machined, very well applied. Nothing wrong with them at all, as we'll see when we put the macro lens on. Um, the the loom uh, can be found on the hands and also these uh, hour markers. And the loom is is okay strength. It's it's not particularly um, brilliant strength, but you know it's fairly average. And you you can see it in the dark after after you've uh, come in from the the outside daylight, for instance. Okay, so the uh, the hands are quite a unique shape, I, I guess, uh, with the thinner base and then uh, a thicker thicker end. Uh, I think the design is 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 pretty good, um, uh, and obviously the uh, the second hand is is a nice little touch as well. Again, the hands are perfectly finished, and um, uh, you can't really uh, complain about it really. The printing on the dial, um, Eticus, this bit under here, golf links on it, a pace of play, and then Swiss movement at the foot of the dial. It's all uh, on its own raised little platform, which is good because obviously, if you were to print straight on this uh, dimple pattern, it would probably not print that great and also look a bit funny. Uh, so it's um, it's it's a nice little touch to to see that, um, and it, it means that it looks nice and crisp as well. Okay, so um, that's the that's the dial. Uh, we've talked about the case. Now let's have a look at the bracelet. As I mentioned before, the bracelet is uh, very very good, uh, very thick. Uh, it feels very heavy on as well. Uh, as you can see, the links have this have a nice little uh, pointy shape to them. Uh, they're fitted using standard pins. Uh, so it's fairly straightforward to resize. Um, they are comfy on. They've got very soft brushed underside, as you can see there. Uh, and I do like the uh, these polished, these two polished stripes uh, on either side of the center link. Uh, apart from that, everything on the bracelet is uh, is brushed. So it does, uh, you know, it gives the impression that it will last a while. Obviously. If it was completely polished, it would scratch pretty easily. And if you're wearing it quite a lot playing golf, then uh, chances are you would scratch it pretty soon. So it makes sense to have it uh, mostly brushed. Uh, but it's nice to have these little polished stripes as well because uh, it makes it a little bit interesting and also also makes it quite smart as well, I think. So the, uh, the buckle. Um, the buckle is good. It's double locking. So first lock is obviously uh, the two buttons there, gripping onto the nipple there and then you flap it over like that. Uh, it's completely brushed, we have the Eticus logo reasonably deeply etched on the uh, on the bottom there. One thing I would say is that this uh, shoulder, this uh, this like elbow joint could probably be a little bit nicer and a bit uh, uh, feel a little bit better but that's just my personal preference. Uh, I would have preferred maybe a, a clasp like a Christopher Ward or a Steinhardt, but um, you know, can't can't be picky with everything, really, can we? Uh, so it does feel good and secure. As uh, it's not going to come off, uh, especially when you're driving, uh, doing your 300 yard shot. Hopefully, uh, not a few me though. It's usually veering off to the side. Um, and uh, the bracelet does um, feel really good on. So it's a, uh, it uh, looks good uh, and feels uh, uh, feels solid and dependable, which is good. Okay, so let me get the uh, macro lens on, and we'll have a look at it in closer detail. So, start with the dial. Obviously, you can see there that the the printing is on its own little tiny platform, and the the uh, the ink is printed straight onto that. Uh, you can see what I mean with the dimples as well, slight slightly edgy, as it were. Almost like it's almost as if it's pixelated. Uh, then we have this golf linksometer pace of play section at the bottom. It's 
this movement now. Uh, I forgot to mention actually, the movement is uh, Ronda 6003D. So it's uh, it's fairly fairly sturdy. Nothing really to uh, nothing exciting to uh, mention about it. It's uh, dependable, solid, uh, and it's it's highly unlikely to uh, uh, to to let you down. So looking at the hands, you can see there that they're very nicely uh, made. And here's the second hand, the flag tip. There we go. So looking at these uh, hour markers with the loomed centers. And the rehort, the printing on that is, is nice and nice and fine as well. So moving on to the bezel, we have our tee off icon at, at 60. Um, it's worth noting actually that the, uh, uh, the, the bezel isn't just straight um, stainless steel, it's actually got a, a top to it. I'm not entirely sure what this is made of, whether it's some sort of sapphire or mineral crystal, uh, but it because it's let me just wipe it down because it's um got quite a reflective uh, appearance to it it does make the watch look more expensive actually it gives the appearance of having a ceramic bezel in all honesty uh which obviously does look uh, impressive and uh, quite expensive but uh, i know it's not ceramic um so in that regard it's a it's a, a nice little plus uh, so then we have the, the side of the bezel. Here we go. Again, the machining is pretty accurate and nice. And then if I rub the case down a little bit, we'll see the finishing. Here's the polished edge. And the brush top of the lug. Then here's the the end link of the bracelet, there we go. And moving on to the moving on to the bracelet itself. Here's one of the links, center link with the two polished edges. Again, everything's pretty uh, pretty nice, can't really complain. And if we look at the buckle, there's the Eticus deeply etched. Uh, we forgot to look at the crown, so let's just have a look at the crown. There it is. Okay. And then just the case back, just see the, the etch in there. See, it's, it's nice and deep. Um, let's have a look at this Eticus over here. There we go. Okay. So, obviously, it is fairly large at forty-five mil in, in diameter. And I think that's it, including the uh, the the crown, actually. Uh, but I really do think that Eticus are a completely British company. Um, so it's uh, it's always exciting to uh, discover new British British companies like uh, like this. Um, I I for one who enjoy playing golf think it's uh, it's an excellent idea, and I really do hope that uh, those who uh, also enjoy playing golf really uh, consider getting uh, getting an Eticus. If this is too large, then I know they are bringing out the same watch but a little bit smaller, which is. Uh, which is a great plus. Uh, they also have uh, some other collections as well, more classy options with the with the same uh, uh, golf dial, uh, and they have a, a, a variety of women's uh, watches as well. So for three hundred pounds, I do think it's a, it's an excellent watch. Obviously, an automatic movement would be nice, but I understand the reasons why uh, Gary made you know made certain that I I understood that. 
you can't wear an automatic watch whilst playing golf and I completely agree with him and I know that's for a fact. Uh, so really for a golf watch, quartz is the only way. But for £300 you do get an excellently made watch. As you can see for yourself, it, it is very, very uh, uh, you know, chunky, uh, gives a, a, a good uh, uh, feel of quality and then you get that excellent box, box as well. And the, uh, the uh, you know, the little uh, ball marker uh, as well is a, is a really nice little touch. So I really like it. I uh, enjoy wearing it, especially uh, playing golf because uh, lots of people notice it and inquire about it. Um, and uh, if you play golf, then I highly recommend it. OK, so uh, uh, this was the Etica Sport Pro uh, and that's what you're all about.